Do you want to know what the mass percent of nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen is inside of ammonium sulfate? Well, neither do I, but that's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to find the total mass, and then we're going to find those percentages easy as pie. Take a look. Bam. So the first step of the process is that we're going to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we've got nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Then we got to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, at the bottom of every element, you want to write in your subscripts if you don't see one. So, for example, there's a 1 on nitrogen, and there's also a 1 on sulfur. So now to find the total number of nitrogens, you have to take the, co the subscript excuse me, of nitrogen and multiply it by the outer subscript outside those parentheses to find the total. So you have two nitrogens. Similarly, you would do the same thing for hydrogen. Take the 4, multiply it by the outer subscript of 2, so you have 8 hydrogens. You have only one sulfur because there is no outer subscript to multiply it by, and you have four oxygen. <clears throat> then you're going to take those numbers of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So let's take a look. Hydrogen's mass is 1.01, nitrogen is 14.01, oxygen is 16, and sulfur is 32.07. All right, so either you got to memorize them or you're going to need the table to look up those values in order to do this, okay? So we write them on down, and then we simply going to multiply the row on a cross now to find the total mass of each element in the compound, all right? And so 14.01 times two is 28.02, and this works out to be 8.08, .08. this works out to be 32.07, and this works out to be 64. And then to find the total mass in the compound, it's fairly straightforward now, all you gotta do is add this column up, right? And that's really what we're interested in here, 130. Uh, 2.17. And there it is, right? That was the first step of the process, finding the total mass of the compound. Now that we know this, I'm going to add a column to the table and finding these percentages is going to be easy as pie. Bam. So to now find the mass percents, we're simply going to take the total mass of that particular element we want to find the percent of. So let's say for nitrogen, we're going to take the 28.02, and then we're going to simply divide it by the entire mass of the compound. That's why we had to do that first, all right? 132.17. And then just multiply that by 100 to get it in percentage terms. This is a simple percent, part over whole times 100. Right? And when we calculate that, we're going to get a value here of roughly 21.20. All right, so that's the percentage of nitrogen by mass in the compound. Hydrogen, we do the same process, right? 8.08, .08, not really sure what those numbers are, but there you go. Divided by 132.17, multiplied by 100, and the percentage there is going to be 6.11%. All right, next sulfur see how routine this becomes now right this is so routine and this is good because you want structure when learning something gives you a nice flow 24 flow 24.26 percent and then <clears throat> oxygen 64 uh, I'm not going to type right in the zeros there but be careful with your sig figs when you do calculate that all right you're going to want to plug that in especially depending upon how particular your professor is uh, 0.42 there, all right, percent. And uh, what you can do at the end, simply add this up, and it should be a 100, all right? And uh, by the way, this is what I want for you on your next test. And we have a whole channel and a website coming out too to help you do and achieve just that, all right? We really do hope these videos help, and if it do, if it does. <laughs> I'm starting to speak like my, my four-year-old now. I love it the way he says it, but it's like... Do you want to do this? I'm like, oh man, I, I just want to say do's now. Do's. Anyway, I'm about to do's off. All right, well, that's all I got for you. I don't even know what I was going to say. But check out our channel. We've got a website coming. All right, see you later.